it is once again time to go out and explore the galaxy, and this time we are visiting the Brain Trees. <laughs> Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Elite Dangerous with Down to Earth Astronomy. It's once again time for another video in the Worth a Visit series where I go out into the galaxy and take a look at some of the interesting and fun places you can go that I definitely think is worth a visit. And today we are in the system um, IC 2319 sector ZE-A D101 and in this system we go to planet or third star or star C, third planet moon A. And on this planet, um, coordinates and everything will be in the description. Um, we have a huge area of, uh, of, of these weird looking uh, trees, fungal kind of things. And if we go out here into the camera mode and have a closer look at them. Now these are known as the brain trees and I guess you can see why. Um, it's also somewhat also called the alien forest because they look very alien and it is kind of like a weird looking forest. Um, but this is an absolutely beautiful place and just, just listen to the sounds here. That's a very odd sound. It's very eerie to be out here, especially because it seems to always be at the, at the dark side of, um, of the planet. Um, I, at least all the times I've been here, even with the with, with the large time span in between, it seems like this side is always facing away from uh, from the main star. So, which would ex uh, would explain the the fungal kind of uh, of structures or, or or life form or whatever it is um, that that grows here? Because I think like many other fungals, they like shadow. Um, but not only that, you will also notice that uh, that some of these actually have some, uh, some rather interesting uh, things growing on them, like this one here, for instance. Oh, let's try to get the camera out again. There we go. You see that weird one there? And that's another, I mean, as you can also probably see on my, on my radar, there are a ton of different growths on these things. Um, if we to take one of these seed pots, what you can do is you can go out and you can uh, can shoot them and they will spawn different materials and it's everything from low grade material to rather high end. So you can also use this for prospecting uh, engineering material if, if you're interested in that and want to go someplace else. So you just shoot that. Um, and so we got some materials there. We could now stock in the tree, but we can probably pick it up if we wanted to. There are plenty of these around that you can go and pick up if you want to. But even if you're not interested in the uh, in the materials, I definitely think this is still a uh, still a place that you should go out and visit. It is quite a, a, a way out. We'll try to pull up the uh, the galaxy map here, um, so you can see. Here we are here, and here we have the bubble in here, of course. So it is a little bit out. Um, so it, but it's not too bad. I mean, most uh, long range exploration ships should be able to make it out here. And of course, remember to bring yourself an SRV if you go out here. Um, and some spare room in your materials hanger because, well, while you're out here, why not just gather some materials and see this one, for instance, where well, that will spawn. So this one spawned chromium, but there's lots of different stuff you can get out here. Um, so quite a fun little uh, little place to, uh, to take a drive around, but that's actually not the only reason why you should get out here. There are actually more reasons um, and other stuff out here that's uh, that I find very interesting. If we move over to the main planet, so instead of moving to the moon where we were before, we're now going to move over here to the main planet. On that, there is a point of interest, as you can see here, called Ancient Ruins. And it is exactly what it says on the label. It's uh, it's some ancient ruins. And I think, well, while you're out here anyway, why not uh, stop by and, and have a look at this area as well? Um, it's not the biggest. Uh, of the alien ruins found, but it's still a, a nice little place. I mean, there are, as you can see, there are different areas around here with lots of these small monoliths that you can go around and you can scan and have a look. And you can also see this rather interesting, let's fly over it, um, this rather interesting, like, arena, maybe it was a pool, something like that here in the middle. Um, not really sure, but regardless, it's, uh, it's an interesting place, so I... Uh, I would definitely suggest when, uh, when you're out here anyway, 
to uh, to go over here as well and uh, drop down your SRV uh, on the ground and uh, have a drive around the uh, the area and have a look at the, at the things. There's a lot of stuff you can uh, you can scan out here to collect data from the ancient ruins um, if you want that. But otherwise, it's always just a nice uh, a nice drive around this area. So as you can see, this is one of the areas with a lot of the small monoliths here. Most of these seems to be destroyed or inactive, but regardless, it's still a rather nice uh, drive around this uh, this place. Now, what you will also see is uh, what some of these ancient relics, which uh, which can be quite fun to uh, to investigate. They, I remember first time I saw these, they kind of took me by surprise. Let's see if we can get over to this one. See if we can figure out what the hell it is in the first place. Should be right up here. Whoa! There we go. There's one. Now we didn't really see it pop up, but you can, you can scan these if you want, and you can collect some, uh, um, some data about this about this area. But apart from that, it's just a a nice, interesting area to uh, to drive around. It's something again that you don't really see um, every day. And if you go out here, I would highly recommend that you try to make your way to the center of the structure to see that. Um, see that pool that area or whatever it is arena thing in the middle i'm gonna try to see if i can find my way up there um just to show you guys ah here we have it made my way out to the small platform we can now see the the whole arena in a little bit more detail and again it's it's just a fun little area to drive around um so again that's gonna be it. I hope you liked the video. I'm gonna shut up now, and I'm gonna put on a, a small montage for you guys, so you can uh, can just enjoy the scenery. I hope you liked the video. If you did, give it a like down below. Consider subscribing to the channel, and until next time, I will see you guys in space.